The great moment is here. This is a quick brace. As simple as it looks, you got actually seven parts to this that you got to be aware of. That arrow points forward, not towards the tail, but towards the nose. This brace actually has six angles, so uh, your helpful friend with a coat hanger, have him cut the grass. Now we've got adhesive remover pads, uh, the wiping pads. We have a very porous. This is not something you can just pick up at the drugstore. Probably not. Uh, definitely not this. This is a uh, human surgical bonding adhesive. It dries to a gum base rather than hard. And that is almost as important as the brace because that's what we're going to do as long as the sun doesn't melt it. The kid's going to be getting treats. So as you do this, he doesn't dislike it. He's thinking more of the treats. Okay, bring the kid in. I hope I didn't miss anything. Okay, our little girl here is 10 weeks old. It's been 10 days since her crop. It's healing nice. Uh, I remember using the quick brace. The vet put the quick brace on right after surgery. The ears accelerate healing. Her stitches came out this past week. So they were in about seven days. We didn't have any uh, post healing necessary. If we do, and when we do, we simply wait a few more days before we uh, worry about putting a brand new brace on. She's had one brace. This is her second brace. Arti that's artificial ear stance. It just looks great. It means the crop was, was done right. The posting was done right. The adhesive on. But the, uh, but clean the ears up a bit. We're gonna leave the old adhesive on. We're just gonna wipe, use these things right now to remove any excess earwax. And you just bend the ear. Again, they're not sensitive because the dogs had no problem at all with her crop. And we're gonna go down here and see if we can find buggers. Oh, very good. And same thing on this side. And we're only gonna do like twice. That should take care of any real loose adhesive. And definitely the uh, wax. Now I'm gonna point out a couple things. We talk about the lobe. This is the lobe right here in the center of the ear. When you call in with measurements, you measure from the top of the lobe to the tip of the ear. You can do both. We're going to take an average. Uh, who knows? It could be a one hundredth of an inch different. Uh, it depends on if the vet had a moment of discussion with somebody, but I'm just kidding on that. The vet's very good. All right, now we got to know what size brace. So we take the ruler, we put it against the lobe, and we see where the end tip comes. In this case, it's three and an eighth, but three is fine. It'll be up to us to uh, make the adjustment here on what you tell us. The hard part that seems to be hard to understand is the width of the head, if you put a pencil here and a pencil here and measure between the pencil, you get the width we're asking. We don't want you to go around the head. And uh, we have to do this in the sun, so pardon the, the shadows. Now we're going to get her ready with the adhesive remover. And I will say at this time, if you need anything, don't become inventive. Call the office. Now we're gonna paint the ear. We're gonna do it lightly. And then I'm gonna have someone else take over because all I did was invent it. Now, we've been practicing with this since uh, the 70s, late 70s, some of that. 
and uh, every, all the changes, tape adhesives, type of adhesives, time in the ears, the brace design, and remember the brace has six angles. You, you, you have to duplicate it. Good luck on your own. It's usually cheaper to buy them than it is to spend two hours trying to make one. All right, now she's being a good girl. She's, uh, she's being a good girl, so we're gonna give her a cheat. Ooh, treat. Now we teach all our dogs that this means treat. Treat, oh boy. We want her to think of all the good thoughts. Again, now you see this pup, this will be its second brace. And my assistant here is going to apply the adhesive to the brace. Again, it's not how thick, but it definitely you want it completely covered. You also want to wait after you get it done until it dries. And actually what we usually do is do the brace first and let it just sit so it has more time to dry. Now at this point in time, the absorbent tape is also is doing what it's what it's called absorbing tape. It's absorbing the adhesives for a better hold. Now you do this and you might have to wait five minutes, maybe 10 minutes if you're like in Anchorage and it's cold. But obviously in the sun, it's in another piece of cheese. It's a good girl, it's being very good. I wouldn't sit there while this was being done. Now, when you check your ears, Touch them. If you don't get adhesive in your, on your finger, and I pressed, then it's ready to apply. And if it's the same thing on a brace, it's ready to be applied. Now, on in rare instances, even the experienced, you might have to reset, reposition, uh, put a new brace on, or reposition the brace. Uh, you have to go back to the pre-adhesive stage when you do that. And remember, this brace goes a quarter inch above that little lobe. It can't touch the lobe. It, if you let it touch the lobe, it's going to irritate the kid's ears. If you put it on wrong, Carol, without taking the brace off, show them how you take off the brace by grabbing the ear and how you peel the brace back. Make sure it's the side that the camera can see. Okay. Right. You reach to the bottom while you're holding your thumb somewhere above it and peel it back like you would a Band-Aid and do it quickly. And that's all it takes. And of course, you're talking about three days, a week, maybe even 10 days. It depends on how good your dog is. But if your dog hasn't had a hassle about some of the strange things that they put on them after surgery should be no problem. Now she's putting on adhesive. So the cross tape, which is very important, even though at this point, let me see. Oh, even though it looks like she doesn't need them, little one, Okay, uh, she does need them. This cross tape is going to be put in so it holds the ears just like they are right now. There's a little bit of a cone. All right, now what we want, hold her little head up for me. When she alerts, she's gonna pull these, hold this. She's gonna pull her ears up a bit. We want to see that after it's all done. We don't want it resting on the ears like this. So by uh, noting that there's some lift still, you know you got it on right. Now there's no more adhesive. She's not gonna put any adhesive on the back side of the ear. This is just to cover the adhesive tape and kind of a sandwiching effect. 
And yes, you're a piece of that's cheese. That's a good girl. Hi, girl. Oh, that's good. Good girl. Just want some cheese. You see, she doesn't dislike her mommy for doing it, holding her still, so she can't run away. Now I may make a noise again. Oh, what a pretty girl! Okay, now we're gonna put the masking tape on, not duct tape. And the art of the system, we're teaching a dog ear stance without making it uncomfortable, is not to put uh, pieces of galvanized rubber from the tires on her ears or some thick, easily acquired, especially medical tape. Medical tape will, will weigh so much more than that little piece of, and all we're doing that for is a case we've got, in uh, our case, her litter mates, she has a buddy she plays with. And uh, actually we've had entire litters, eight and 10 out playing, and they can keep the brace. Now we see here, we're looking at it again, and there's a little bit loose here. Make sure you get that all in correctly. All right, and make sure the lobe isn't being touched on both sides, great. It's a good girl, we're sorry, honey. And, given a piece of cheese, we can say, She's done. The end.